So yesterday, the director of the FBI, James Comey, came out and pretty much said everything that uh, Hillary Clinton did wrong with her emails. Not a big deal. And then said, well, we found that she had no intent of actually breaking the rules. And here's a video about that. Although there is evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information, our judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. Prosecutors necessarily weigh a number of factors before deciding whether to bring charges. There are obvious considerations like the strength of the evidence, especially regarding intent. Responsible decisions also consider the context of a person's actions and how similar situations have been handled in the past. In looking back at our investigations into the mishandling or removal of classified information, we cannot find a case that would support bringing criminal charges on these facts. All the cases prosecuted involved some combination of clearly intentional and willful mishandling of classified information or vast quantities of information exposed in such a way as to support an inference of intentional misconduct or indications of disloyalty to the United States or efforts to obstruct justice. We do not see those things here. All right, well, basically, after everything that James Comey said, we can definitely see how many things she did wrong, yeah. right? He basically took a minute or two or three to explain very in, in, in a lot of detail exactly what she did wrong and how careless she was with the information that she was given. And we also have to take into account that we're talking about very sensitive information of national security yeah. to the point that it's considered top secret. For example, 110 emails were classified at the time they were sent or received. And also, a chains of emails had top secret information. So what we have to take into consideration is that the standards of intent were held very highly for her. Too high. Basically Way saying, high. well, did you share with Putin, uh, China? Okay, no, you didn't. Cool, that's cool. Did you directly go to Russia and hand it to Vladimir Putin? <laughs> Oh yeah. no! Okay, okay. Oh, oh, you didn't. You didn't mean okay. to do it. You didn't mean to do it. All right. Oh, you just uh, you... put it completely carelessly yeah. in a private server that absolutely anyone could hack like, into. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's okay. But you didn't mean to, That's... so it's okay. Of course, it's you okay. didn't mean to. Of but course. Brian Ishimuru, Ishimaru, um, last year got indicted for a similar case. Now he was actually put in probation for two years. He had a seventy-five hundred dollar fine, and he was stripped down from his credentials because which makes perfect you sense. Know, he was careless. I mean, he didn't have an intent to he do it. He had information, and he wasn't careful with it. Therefore, he lost his credentials. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's still, he still had no intent. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, we're not saying that Hillary Clinton should be in prison for 10 years for betrayal of the country. That's not what we're suggesting, although some people are. Yeah. What we're suggesting is that she had a position in government, right, Secretary of State, mm -hmm. and she broke the rules of that position by being careless with the information and this is according to fbi director james comey yeah she was careless with that information top secret information that is vital to the security of the country yeah so and well she broke those rules so she shouldn't be allowed to be into another position in which she has the same kind of information and we know that she might be very careless with that information yeah it's just it just doesn't. It, 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 it just doesn't make sense to me that they didn't apply the same standard like like they did because that case was just from last year. It wasn't like twenty years ago or whatever. You know, same situation. Why didn't they apply that, uh, apply the situation to her mm -hmm. as well? It just like it's 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 not fair, honestly. Yeah, because it's, it's, it, it's special it just, treatment. It just yeah. highlights the special treatment that she just got. Yeah, because if you're rich, powerful, you know, you're above the law. And yeah, it, it's it's kind of even like just now, like it just made me think, for example, of that rape case of the white kid who was like, oh, but but he's in college, like let him be. Yeah, kinda she's like, about oh, to be president. Well, she's president like, so like, be. yeah, whatever. We don't want. To. Well, actually, to give credit yeah. to uh to uh Comey. He's a like hardcore uh, Republican, and he even went against uh, Bush's order because they were uh, unconstitutional while he was president. Which was, I you know, I give him credit for that. And actually, the bias would be against her. But I just think the uh, the standard of intent were just held way too high for her. And apparently, they didn't take this case into consideration. And yeah, we're not saying that necessarily James Comey is trying to help it. What we're saying is that there's definitely clearly 
a different standard here. Yeah, because these two cases. Hillary, I mean, the Clintons didn't know. Her whole administration didn't know. They were already, like, talking to Loretta Lynch. Yeah, they were freaking out. Yeah, they were like, hey, <laughs> buddy, hey, buddy, I'll keep you in your position if you help me out. They were, like, trying to prepare for the worst. Oh, but they were just talking about those grandkids, right? Oh, like, yeah. Like, their tuitions or who knows mm, what. Yeah, so you have to have a <laughs> private conversation about your grandkids. And golf and, like, all this other things, not anything about the possibility of the of of uh, Hillary be, uh, being indicted. Right yeah, now. yeah, that, 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 no, that was no, actually came up it, with it, that. it's more suspicious that they didn't even mention that. You know, yeah, like maybe I would have respected more the fact that he would have said like, yeah, dude, I was freaking out. I wanted to see what was going on with that. It just you know? comes Not off as deal. untrustworthy and that you're like a fake. It's like all right. So then I would question. So you had the attorney general in front of you. You have your wife who's very likely going to be indicted at the moment and you didn't even like it was not a concern for you like that's you know like it I just makes I, I no just, sense I, I it just doesn't make buy sense it. and that's it why no that's sense. why like no one trusts her mm -hmm. no one trusts her and you shouldn't because shit like this and like she just keeps dirtying her image and i guess her voters like they don't even care oh yeah she just shared uh, or she was really uh extremely careless. careless about the information that she had in her hand and you want to trust her to be president? Well, yeah, that's that that's, makes to me absolutely no sense. That's that's who you want to vote for. Go ahead. But and like, there's not just two options. How many times do we have to yeah. say this? And not just us, but a lot of people have to remind uh, the populace <laughs> of them. Like literally, there's so many options. There's like yeah, four, and five. the Libertarian Party is already like pulling at ten percent. Green just, Party. Just to, yeah, just to mention all the ones that we know that are running right now. There is Democratic, obviously, uh, Republican, the Green Party, Repo uh, Green Party, Libertarian, and Constitutionalists. Oh, that one is like the least yeah, yeah. <laughs> of they're my favorite. They're not really pulling that high either. So, it's just but like... to be honest, I do respect um, both Jill Stein and uh, Gary Johnson because yeah. even though, for example, with Johnson, I don't agree with him a lot, um, I do see that he actually gives a fuck. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because even even if your policies are kind of skewed, if you still care, that still gives you some validity. Yeah, because you can like, you can you can actually talk to them and argue legitimate points. Anyway, if you like this video, like, comment, or share. And what do you think? Do you agree with uh, Comey's decision? Should she have gotten indicted? Yes or no? Anyway, thanks for watching.